today we're going to be talking about angles and angle measures. So an angle is in standard position. When its vertex is on the origin and one ray is on the positive axis and that's called our initial side. And the ray and the angle is then rotated around so here we have a positive 135 degree angle to our terminal side. When you rotate negative, you go down first. An angle of rotation is formed by rotating the terminal side and keeping the initial side in place. So a positive rotation rotates counterclockwise. A negative angle rotates clockwise. Coterminal angles are angles in a standard position with the same terminal side. So I could rotate positive or I could rotate negative. And usually we're going to be either adding 360 to get another positive angle or subtracting 360 to get a negative coterminal angle because all the way around a circle is 360 degrees. Now a reference angle. A reference angle is the positive acute angle formed from the terminal side to the x-axis. So they're always positive. So it's wherever your terminal side is, whatever angle gets you back to the x-axis. And they are always acute, which means less than 90 degrees. Okay, first example, 320 degrees. We want to draw the angle in standard position find the measures of a positive and negative coterminal angle, and then find the measure of the reference angle. So we draw in our axes. We have our initial side, and then we rotate and show me the rotation of 320 degrees. And that's landing in quadrant four, so our terminal side is in quadrant four. So I've drawn my angle, showing me the rotation, and then make sure you label what the actual measure is. And these are just approximations. Okay, part B. Find the measure of a positive and negative coterminal angle. So I have 320 degrees. If I add 360 to that, that's going to give me um, a positive coterminal angle of 680. If I take my angle and I subtract 360 from it, that gets me a negative angle. That gets me, if I were to rotate down that way, a negative 40. Part C, reference angle. Reference angle is the angle back to the x-axis. So you look at your terminal side. What's the closest angle that's going to get me back to the x-axis? That's this angle in here. Since all the way around is 360 degrees, this side is just 320. This angle here is a positive 40 degrees. Reference angles are always positive. So for our next one, same thing just now with negative 110. Okay, so when I rotate negative, I rotate down clockwise. That's negative 110 degrees. This would have been negative, <coughs> excuse me, 180. So draw the angle in standard position. Okay, that's what I just did. I showed how I rotated with my arrow and I labeled. For B, find the measure of a positive and negative coterminal angle. So 110 plus negative 110 plus 360 gets me 250. Negative 110 minus 360 gets me negative 470. Part C, 
my reference angle. So from this angle back up to the x-axis, the smaller angle that's up to the x-axis. So the difference between negative 180 and negative 110 is 70 degrees. Remember that's an acute angle, so it has to be less than 90, and it's a positive. Okay, another way to measure angles. And think about it like this. We have multiple ways to measure length. We have feet, we have miles, we have meters, we have all different inches, we have all different ways to measure length. Now this is just another way to measure an angle. So one radian is defined as this. When you have your radius being r, you have your radius being r, and if you take a piece of string and you wrap that around a circle that's also r, so all of these lengths are r, this angle theta in here is defined as one radian. Now, halfway around our circle, 180 degrees, is pi radians. One rotation around our circle, 360, is equal to two pi radians. So 180 degrees equals pi radians. That's going to be our conversion. So a radian is a unit of angle measured based on the arc length. If the central angle theta in a circle of radius r, so all my radii are r, then theta is defined as one radian. So when this arc length is also r. Okay, convert it. Since pi radians at 180 were equal, when I want to convert from degrees, like in example A, to radians. So think about it this way. I have 30 degrees. How do I cancel out these degrees? I have to have 180 degrees on the bottom over pi radians. Now cancel. Zeros cancel. Uh, 3 goes into 18 six times, so our answer is pi over 6. Now rewriting negative 5 pi over 3 in degrees, so 180 over pi. So I have negative 5 pi over 3 radians. I need to have radians in the bottom, pi radians, 180 degrees, The pi's cancel, 3 cancels with 180 to be 60, so our answer is negative 300. And please make sure you have these two conversions in your notes. These are super important. I remember when I was in high school referencing back to these conversions a lot. Okay, arc length. Uh, for a circle with radius r, and central angle theta in radians, that's key, theta has to be in radians. The arc length, so the actual measure of that in like feet, is S equals R theta. Okay, it's a pretty simple formula. So the steering wheel of a monster truck has a radius, R, is 11 inches. How far does a point on the steering wheel travel if the wheel makes four-fifths of a rotation? So theta, four-fifths of one rotation, which is two pi. One rotation, one complete rotation is two pi. So that is equal to eight pi over five. We know S equals R theta, so S equals our radius, which is 11, times by our theta, which is 8 pi over 5, so this works out to be 88 pi over 5. When you actually put this in your calculator, you get 55.29 inches. Okay, um, there are your lesson questions. You have five lesson questions today. Please make sure those are submitted on time.